obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Hello, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We uh, we have some stress reducing to do on Jonathan. Now, these facilities are at half price. What what was it? It said, oh, my mistake. A very different institution. <laughs> um, oh, doggone it. He can't go there. He'll only pray. Well, I mean, what am I going to say? Uh, before I do that, no, I don't have enough bus to do anything. So we'll just cough up the money. That's all I can do. And uh, I mean, Blade could use a little stress healing. I could have, oh, I see what I did. I went by level. Let me go by stress. So yeah, Blade is the only other one. So that's fine. We'll just come to the tavern. I already filled the bar, but that's all right. This is, oh, wait a second. This is actually cheaper than that. So I guess it was the bar and the brothel that were discounted. So that's fine. We'll let him have a good time there. And then that'll be everybody. Now, I also want to visit the sanitarium really quickly because I have two characters uh, that I want to put in. So, number one is Zoth. I see. I forgot that I'd already done Kronos. Okay. I want to lock in Steady and I want to get rid of Slow Reflexes. And nobody is diseased at the moment unless I am mistaken and I don't think I am... Nope, we're good. That's a nice change, frankly. So, now we can focus on the task at hand, which is to get ready to go fight the um, swine god, I think his name is this time. Okay, so this is um, going to be a little more expensive because I'm going to unlock an ability I don't normally use. I don't care about that one. Okay. And you, let's go ahead and top that off. And I think you're good. What about the blacksmith? She's good. Now he's good. Vincent's beautiful and Unilizard is beautiful. Anybody need some survival skills? I hate I hate this one. <laughs> um, I don't like reduce or increasing stress for a bunch of people, and I don't like reducing speed and accuracy. So forget that. Um, you yeah, you know what I'm I'm fine just leaving her as is really. Same. Uh, dark ritual. No. No, I think we're getting to the point where most of the ones that I would ever want, we have. That's actually not terrible. Let me see. Well, I like this better. I like that better. Yeah, this is why I never take it. Uh, because I love these four. So we're going to leave it as is. And we're going to get ready to go because I don't really think there's much else to do here. So, Swine God, yes. And one of the reasons I'm doing this, by the way, this trinket is really good, I think. Um, the Arbalist is one I'm definitely going to use in more dungeons. And to get a 20% damage buff and a 30% debuff skill chance, uh, that's pretty good. Now, that's going to help her mark out, you know, the 30 dodge, uh, negative 30 dodge. Getting that to stick is really good. And some of these bosses, they have some decent debuff resistance. So, I like that. She will do less healing, but let's be honest, her healing sucks anyway. Uh, okay, so, you know, I haven't been doing this every time, but I'll just show you the trinkets really quick. 
Uh, I am a little worried about accuracy, so I gave some of them, you know, that. Obviously, I wanted him to get a healing boost. For him, just damage and accuracy. And then for her, damage and hit points plus dodge. Actually, this could be interesting because I'm adding 13 dodge. So uh, her mat, her total dodge is 33 right now. That's kind of cool. Hopefully, it'll help avoid some damage, uh, particularly on champion level dungeons, though. Dodge is not really super reliable. Protection is generally better. But you got to work with what you got. She's not a man at arms. She's a hellion. So we're going to try the dodge. <laughs> um, okay. Let's bring in a couple of anti-venom. And um, a few keys. Let's bring some torches. All right. I'll bring one more herb, I think, and one holy water. And that's plenty. Yeah, you know what? I don't even want the extra herb. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. <laughs> oh, God. Nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Hmm. I'm guessing he'll be here. Now, before we go any further, am I okay with these abilities? I may swap out one of these to take the self-heal. Um, yeah, we might need the ability to get rid of stealth. So two of us have it. I'm good with this. We're going to at least try it. And we'll make adjustments if we need to. I am a little anxious about fighting the swine god. I've done pretty well with him in this playthrough, but in my first campaign, he uh, he beat me up pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's see. He's got all the protection. Let's try and take out the large flesh eater first. I mean, do... Now, I don't even have the weakening curse, so... Let's just try to do the damage. Okay. Come on. You're my heavy hitter, boy. Not bad. Okay. Come on. Can we finish him? Oh, exactsies. Nice. Well, she dodged on the first test. You know, like... That's pretty cool. This guy we're not going to kill in one turn, I'm afraid. And since he's got all that protection, we'll try to get some bleed going. You don't have that option, so just, you know, do what you do. Same. I mean, we've taken almost half his health. I'm pretty good with that. Do yeah, I don't feel like I need to heal him yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm not positive it's worth it, but you know what I'm tempted to do? Can I stun him? No, no way. I don't think it matters. We've actually he's dead now. Yeah. Uh, right before he popped, I realized he was down to seven health and the bleed was stacked up to eight. So there was no way he was gonna gonna make it. Uh, shortest route is this way, and I think the shortest route makes sense in this scenario. We're going for the piggy piggy. Oh, swine thunderer! And I know I could have revealed him, but ouch! Alright, now I gotta go into healer mode, I think. Okay, I'm grateful she resisted that. 
I'm really torn here, but I'm going to kill him. I was thinking about using her ability to get rid of stealth. Uh, I don't have the self heal up. I could do the stress heal. Actually, you know what? I'm going to. Because this guy is going to take a little while with his protection. And I might as well just do that and give him the pro my own protection, you know. Not that it mattered because he didn't attack the leper. He went another place. But what up? Right. That's no good there. All right. So I got to heal. Start with him. Next turn, I'll heal the leper. Brother, he's all about the occultist. Awesome. Well, let's see how you like this. Oh, he likes it just fine. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't dig this because I can't heal this turn either. That's the bad part. I'm really getting behind and he doesn't have a group heal. He's not a Vestal. All right, at least they went for the leper. That was kind of timely, honestly. All right, now we're a little better off. Um, yeah, she doesn't need a heal, so. Okay. I don't care if she gets stunned. My big thing was I just didn't want her to take a ton of damage. By the way, do I even have... Yeah, I have one bandage. I need to remember that. All right, it wasn't the greatest heal ever, but I think it was all right. Ah. Uh. All right, let's finish it. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Got a feeling that Jade isn't going to be in the group long, but it's there for now. Okay, what do I want to keep? Well, let's just get rid of this stupid thing. I don't know how many crests I'm going to try to carry out, but... The Jade is just not worth that much money, so I'm not going to worry about it. And another fight. A blazing star is born. I think this time I am going to use his ability and get rid of that. And let's try and take out the Swine Heaver. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. I like that stress heal, too. Beautiful. All right. This guy can be a right pain, so I don't want to make it sound like we're home free, but I'd much rather have one guy attacking me than a multitude. All right. Let's pick up the healing. Oh, come on. Come on now. And the one person who can heal herself, they haven't touched. I love that. All right. Um, let me do this. I need a decent heal here, man. Come on. All right. That was better. Crap. I actually want to use a bandage on him. Because that's a lot of damage. Confidence surges as the enemy <sighs> Man. Well, it looks like this dungeon is kind of heirloom city. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we are going to get in a fight. I tell you what. Let me at least eat a couple of food here. Because uh, I, I don't want to get racked, you know. When you know for 100% you're about to get in a fight. Oh, actually, I can't even afford to do that. Even though I would very much like to. That was not a great heal. I don't know why. Like, I did give him 
No, I know what it is, though. I didn't give him the very best healing item. I gave him one that's pretty good. Crap. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. It looks like we're not getting rid of anybody really quickly. So, let's try and give him a little protection. Okay, at least I got rid of the stress inducer. Um, that, that flesh eater I'd like to get rid of as well. but Well, not the large flesh eater. Just the regular old garden variety flesh eater. Dude, you need to remember that you're an occultist and uh, actually get some big numbers on some of these heals because so far, I'm not impressed. Yeah, I'm just going to go to town here. Alright, that's the end of him. Uh, what is that going to do exactly? Minus, oh god, minus 40% damage, really? Finally. I mean, he did put bleed on him, but hey. What's a little bleed between friends? Alright, we're almost there now. I think I'm going to have to give him the self-heal. I was trying to get by without it. I think I'll get rid of Hugh because I don't use it very often. Sometimes it is quite nice, but... I feel like I'm getting such unreliable heals from my occultist. And beyond that, there's just enough guys doing damage that... Uh, here, let's do this. As the light gains purchase... Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Alright, I'm actually just going to avoid that. It's not giving me the scout. So there's no guarantee that's the boss. Yep, that sucks. Alright, I'm going to take the chance that it is. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm really going to be unhappy. <laughs> Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Okay. Um, let's prevent the ambush. Now, I definitely want to sharp... Oh, wait. I definitely want Battle Trance. And let's see. This is really good. And just restring her crossbow. Alright, we got some nice buffs. I didn't do a whole lot of stress reduction. And by not a whole lot, I mean none. Except for what the act of camping gave me. But... I'm okay with that, more or less. Alright, yeah, this is, uh, we're getting way more heirlooms than we are gold. I've only gotten 350 gold. I mean, I have the sapphire, which is nice, but holy crap. <sighs> I don't know. You know, I don't have bandages. I'm going to ignore that. At least going into the fight, I don't want to risk, you know, getting some new negative quirk or some stupid thing, like Blight or something. I just don't need that right now, going into a tough boss fight. Honestly, I'm hoping we just get there with no trouble. and driven into the mud. All right. Crap, I didn't... I always do this. I forget to check my abilities. I actually think I'm okay. Uh, I probably would have just changed his... Uh, his thing to, to be able to um, heal. But whatever. Okay, so I 
I don't think it's worth casting a heal right now. I think I'm just going to go for the damage because, man, he has... I could mark him. You know what? I'm going to... And that'll get rid of his dodge, too. No, he resisted it. But she'll do so much more damage, at least once she's not stunned. I was tempted to do the um, protection, but whatever. Do I want to try to make him bleed? I don't know if that's worth it or not. I'm definitely giving up some damage, but... Okay. Yeah, I actually would have... I would have changed his. I would have given... Um, I would have given him the weakening curse to try to hurt his damage a little bit. But I screwed up. I came charging in here too fast. So whatever. I did it. Now the fight has started. Since he's got this on him, I'm really tempted to do this. But at least for the moment. Let's see if she gets any mileage out of this mark. Yeah, not bad. I mean, we've taken almost half of his health. Yeah, see, that's not great. So I probably will go ahead. I need to heal him for sure. Oh, God. Uh, okay. I'll definitely be taking this because... I don't want him to die, and I feel like that's where this is going. Alright. We are starting to make real progress here, though. We've taken, you know, a big percentage of his health down. Now, I just need an actual heal here. Like, not one of these two-point pieces of crap. Alright, thank you. I mean, that's still not great, to be honest. I could use one for like 30, but... Yeah, it's holding steady at 12. I guess that's the max. It's four per turn, four per turn for three turns, so yeah. You get up to 12 and there's just always a new one rolling off as you add one to the stack. Okay, at least it did less damage to him, but I am definitely in trouble on the health now. <sighs> She's got 8, he's got 12. Yay! Yeah, I'm just not getting good heals from him. Okay, no more damage over time. I could do this. But honestly, I think I'm better off just like going big right now. Yeah. I felt like we could just finish him, you know. And that would be that. Because I wasn't going to get a big enough heal from her self heal to matter. Like, she still would die if he tagged her. And, um... You know, like even that, he's got 20. That would have been just enough. All right, we've almost got this fool. I actually want to keep him alive, but I really can't afford to. I don't want the stupid stress thing to get triggered. So uh, I guess, um, yeah, and I won't be able to heal with him this turn anyway. So... I will just kill him. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, I am going to do this, though. Like, oh my gosh, she needs health. I was so tempted to do the self-heal, but... As victories mount, so too will resistance. I gotta be honest, I'm tempted to just go. We're so beat up. 
But I tell you what, we know there's no fight in this hallway, and there is a curio. So, oh, doggone you. I had the holy water, idiot. All you gotta do is leave it alone. So I can get a little stress healing, and I got another curio I can deal with. Uh, 80%. You know, the scary thing is, I can't really afford the damage. <laughs> uh, if she fails... Here, let me do something. Alright. <laughs> that was a little scary. I just would like you know, something on the way out. Okay, I mean... I hate leaving with this much room in the pack, but I don't know. I'm gonna just die. I'm gonna go. We killed the boss. We got this trinket. We got 15,000 gold. We got a bunch of crests. Don't get greedy, you know? I'm going to get at least one of my... Because I brought two level fives. And I do think that's part of why this was a little tougher dungeon. In the boss fight. Um, it's definitely better if they're all level six. So, we got at least one, if not both, leveled up. Both. Excellent. Excellent. Boy, he needed a bunch, too. Well, good job, Zafri. You earned it. You definitely carried your weight. I feel pretty good about it. She's got the red plague, which means she's going to the sanitarium. Um, early riser's not bad. All right, cool. Very cool. I think that's two down. Um, Golden hope. Yeah, it figures. He lost a little gold at the brothel. I don't really care. Whatever. Like, I needed to heal him. And <laughs> so, it's not enough gold to get all in a twist about. I'm not super happy with where we are with gold, but it could be worse. All right. We did not, unfortunately, get anybody at level four. Um,. I could do some more upgrading up here. That is a thing, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I want to just yet. What's the deal in here? I need busts. Okay. At least I got some out of that one. Um, and at the Abbey, if I do upgrade this, I'm just using up my busts. So... What about the tavern? Just want to check while we're at it. Okay, I mean, I don't use the gambling hall a lot because honestly, I don't really love it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chill with this for now. Uh, before I forget, let's do this. Let's put her in the medical ward and get rid of that because that's pretty terrible. So we don't want to bring her again until we can, you know, handle that a little bit more safely so I oh I see I think we have to get down to level seven in order to fight the next boss from the Warrens um, I would like to fight a boss again next time I think particularly since uh, the veteran one is in the Warrens and not in the cove or the ruins where I might prefer if I was gonna do a veteran dungeon so, let's see. Where would we want to go? We could go fight the Brigand 16 Pounder or the Necromancer Lord. I kind of like that idea. Is there any difference other than uh, the trinkets? And I would, I think, rather have this. I love adding to my speed. And then the damage and crit is a nice bonus as well. This is a much more narrow use one, so... What does this do? Plus 50% healing, but only equipped on an antiquarian whose healing sucks. 
I don't really care. In fact, don't I have one of those? Yes. All right. I'm thinking maybe we'll try the Brigand 16 pounder. I believe we did that once before and I had to abandon the mission like right before we got there. I got beat up really badly and I just realized like I, I can't I can't do a boss fight. <laughs> We're going to lose. Um, so that's fine. You know, I think we'll give it another try when we come back. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.